any time a child's diagnosed with cancer, one of the parents has to stop working. So if it's a one working parent family, that becomes nothing. So that, that's where Angels was just put here. And when you've, when you've never been through any of this before, you don't, you don't know what's out there to help you. And they're just, they're just amazing what they do for you. Angels Among Us is a locally based organization. We help out families who are either from Nebraska or being treated in Nebraska. So we have families who've had to go to other states for treatment, but since they're from Nebraska, we're still able to support them. When a child's diagnosed with cancer, usually you want to have a parent or a relative with a child at all times. You don't want to leave them in the hospital alone. So with that comes a parent usually having to immediately take a leave of work, a leave of absence, or they have to quit their job altogether. But then you also have to think about how do you manage your other life? If you have other children or other responsibilities, how do you make sure that their lives aren't as altered because of this diagnosis that your family has received? So it's a really big juggling act, and so that's where Angel steps in a lot of time and helps where we can on the monetary side. A few years ago, before Angels was here, we would have kids come to the clinic and need help, and families really needing help with their bills, needing help with payments of things they were behind in, and I think God put angels among us here for these kids. Well, I had to give up work uh, two years ago. We were lucky enough, he went into remission last October, and everything seemed to be going good. And then we found out again in March that it had come back, and then everything stopped again, and we were back into hospital last March. So. Uh, my husband had just retired from the Air Force and he was looking for a job. It was, it was tough at the time. When we help out a family, we do it in multiple ways. One of our rules is we'll never give a family cash directly. We always give them funds through paying their mortgage payment. We go straight to the banks, we pay the electric bills, we give them gas cards, we give them um, grocery bill cards, gift certificates, wherever they need to go. The social workers at both Children's and University Hospital meet with families and we do a pretty complete assessment to see what their whole picture looks like outside of the treatment. We assess their financial uh, situation as part of that. We have families that look like they're gonna do okay or think that they're gonna do okay, but then they'll come and talk to myself or to Sue at the university and they'll say, you know, we're really getting behind in paying our bills and we just feel so grateful we can say, well, there's an organization right here in Omaha that's going to help you get through that. When you're in this situation, you just don't know who's out there and who's going to be there for you. And there's nothing that you can ever give back to them. There's no thank you enough. We've come a long way and we couldn't have done it without the help and support of angels among us and everybody, could we? You see, it's making me cry. <laughs> the people that we help are in the community, they work with you, their kids go to your schools. We've had a lot of great recent news stories about people helping out their friends that have um, cancer, and so we're really trying to help foster that within the community. We've been really fortunate that a lot of our local companies have really stepped in and become great supporters of Angels Among Us. We have people like Werner Enterprises, they've been a great support of our organization. Places like Reruns, is like every year they've been with us and helping us out through various donations and events. Sarban Cinema has been another great supporter and it's really fun because all everyone comes together kind of at the end of the year to kind of celebrate what we've been able to accomplish. So this year we'll be having our gala on November 1st on at Embassy Suites in the Old Market. And um, this is where we do a lot of our fundraising and we really get the funds to be able to support our families for the entire next year. So if you want to learn more about Angels, you can go to our website, myangelsamongus.org, or you can call us again at our phone number 885-4840 and Sherry would be happy to give you all the information you need.